Hey there, this is just going to be a quick video in response to a question on how to uh, calculate beta weighted deltas in uh, Excel. We previously did this in a Jupyter notebook, so I'm not going to dwell on the mathematics. You can go see that video. I'll link to it below. And also, I've done a couple videos on linear regressions, which is kind of the, the crux of this whole, whole technique. So again, I will link to them below. And this is basically just to go over the commands needed to, to calculate this in Excel. So let's just uh, do it. So this is the original Python uh, notebook. So rather than going over the mathematics, I'll just link to the previous video and you can watch that for all the, uh, the details. And I just want to implement this basically in Excel. So the, the, the hard part is this linear regression here. Um, it's where we calculate this beta. So this line, these, this is the, the most difficult part of it. And there are dozens of ways to calculate linear regressions in Excel. So I'm just going to choose one and, um, and leave it at that. So let's switch over to Excel now. Okay. So I'm going to import our data. Let's see here. Okay, so here is a spy data and it brings it brings it in as its own little tab down here. So here is the EEM data and I've reordered this so the spy happens to be in the first place. No particular reason to do that. I just felt like it. Um, now we need the percent change. So over here, we're going to call this um, column PCT for percent. Uh, this is going to be the change in price. So this value minus this value so final minus initial divided by the initial price that looks good let's do the same thing for eem okay so i've done the same thing for eem and i'm going to copy both of these columns into this um, sheet one over here just so we can have all of our relevant data on the same sheet since we don't need all this other stuff so here are these columns uh, copied over spy eem uh, there are many ways, as I said earlier, on how to calculate linear regressions in Excel. Uh, I'm going to use the linest function for linear estimation, and that's going to give us back two pieces of information, our beta and the intercept of that line, which we do not need. Intercept. So, um, as I said, L-E-N-S-E-T, the first entry of this function, excuse me, the first entry is going to be our Y value, so that's E-E-M. So this goes from here, B3, to B, this happens to go down to row 12, 20, uh, 1260. And then the X values, X values, which are our spy, so A3 to A1260. So if you compare this to the uh, Python notebook, this, not, this number here is slightly different. Python gave 0 0.968 rather than 0 0.978. And I've tried to figure out exactly why that is, including doing different um, ways of calculating the regression, including uh, entering the formulas manually uh, by hand. Uh, this is just some sort of summation, some summation type function. Um, and I did that by hand and I still get this same answer here and manually entering it, the same thing in the Python notebook is that answer. So not entirely sure what's going on here, but for now it's close enough. Um, so now we just need to enter in the uh, expression for the beta weighted delta. So we have to copy in this information here and then just basically use this formula. So we need the beta, we need our delta of the EEM. Um, in this example, that was here, uh, 2231 and then the stock price and then the SPY price. So this would be, the stock price would be our EEM and the index price would be our SPY. So let me copy over these data here to that spreadsheet. So here we are back in Excel and I copied the relevant information, SPY price, EEM price, and our delta. And now we just um, enter in the formula. It's our delta, it's our beta times our delta times EEM price all divided by SPY price. So this is equal to our beta times our delta times EEM price all divided by SPY price. 